Last month, Give Douglas took a cash alternative of £10,000 after winning a date just 41. Today, we go again as our four judges pick a winner from our Spot the Ball competition. So let's go. My name is Peter Westbrook. I am a local solicitor based here in Hartford. All the results are now in and I shall be overseeing proceedings here today. I'm sure if you look where mine is, mm. up, up above um, the guy facing facing towards us here because yeah. there's not a lot of action on a pitch to go from and you're looking, trying to get an eye line. So I'm just wondering whether there was a free kick against mm. and then the ball's being cleared mm. because uh, in the background, that guy is mm. super cool. So yeah. there ain't a lot of action going on mm. around him. So I'm thinking that the ball's been cleared away and because of the perception of where the camera is, mm. that ball is in the air. Uh, above uh, this uh, number eight, yeah. think it looks, it yeah. could be heading it, mm -hmm. or to me, it might even be ducking uh, out of the way. So uh, yeah. that's why I've gone yeah. high up on the picture, but I think that ball is away from him, still mm -hmm. a, fa a fair distance. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I've put it up there. No, brilliant, thanks, Nigel. Craig, what yeah, about yourself? Because you two are really unbelievably young. close. Yeah, I think my perspective, I, I think he's ducking out of it. I think I looked at the position of Gosling um, and I feel if the ball was being headed back in by the number eight, I feel like he'd be making more move up the pitch. Mm. Um, I think the guy in the background with his arms outstretched, I think he's given the guy, the number eight, a call. Um, I think he's gone to head it, he's heard the call and I think he's then ducked out of it um, and allowing the ball to go over his head. So that, that's why I, yeah. I put it on, on that spot. Brilliant, that's Craig. And Paul? Well, I think there's quite a distance between uh, the eight rolls and Sawyer's. It's difficult to judge, but I think that's quite a distance. And Gosling's quite a long way away. He, he is not reacting to a header coming back at him. And in the same way, he's so calm and cool at the back. So I think there's quite a depth that's going on. And to me, the ball's uh, coming down. It's either bounced or it's just floated um, in, the, in the space between maybe two or three metres away mm. from the eight. So it's not right on top of him, but this distance is quite large between them. So I think Gosling's a long way away uh, and the calmness um, at the back there says to me that there's been some information and that the ball's floating and it's in an area where there's not a great deal of danger mm. for the Blues. No, brilliant, thanks Paul. Uh, yeah, and, and for me, very similar. I was caught in two minds whether the ball was actually going over the head or if the eight was actually making a header. And I, I sort of literally landed on him. I believe that he's heading the ball just in the concentration. I think there's a massive gap. I think it's deceiving between uh, the two guys, the 16 and 19, Gosling and Sawyers. Um, and that's why I've placed the ball higher. So it's just now making a joint decision or a collective decision where we think it is. Um, Craig, Nigel, with you two being unbelievably close, um, and we're all sort of in the reasonable vicinity, I think anywhere around here might be good, but it's the Aston. Yeah, yeah I mean, you can pretty much go in between uh, yourself and Paul, can't you, and then edge over yeah. a bit, because Craig and myself are very close. Yeah, so yeah. Any, anywhere in that middle section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's about here. Yes, yes. Yeah. Somewhere in there, which means yeah. it's, it's still pretty close yeah. to where we all were. We're all happy. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. yeah I'm, I'm happy with yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah look good to that. Thanks, Jess. I will officiate uh, game and good luck to everyone playing. Welcome everybody to Watch Lotto's Live. We have now revealed this month's winner. Our judges have picked their final decision and we're going to find out who the winner is. Six pixels away from the judges' spot is Jonas, me. Please answer the phone. <laughs> it will be great to speak to you. Okay. Please let this work because it's not a UK number, so I'm hoping it. Oh, it's ringing. <gasps> Jonas, pick up the phone. Come on. Oh. No, Jonas, you haven't answered the phone. No problem. So, Jonas, you are this month's winner. We will try you again. If you are watching, give me a call back. Jonas has just called me back, so I'm going to give him a call now and, and tell him the good news. Hey, Jonas, yeah. Oh, hi Jonas, it's Deborah from Watch Lotto. How are you? 
Doing great, and you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, having a lovely day. How's your day going? Uh, busy. <laughs> busy. <laughs> I know. We have tried to call you, so I'm really pleased you've answered. Do you know why I'm calling you today? Uh, I guess something because of watches. <laughs> it, yes, yes, yes. Have you played Watch Lotto? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the judges have picked their Couple final. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Well, today I am calling you to let you know you are December's competition winner. So well done. Okay, crazy. Thanks for that. That's overwhelming. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I know, um, but no, it's no jokes. You are our winner, and you have won yourself. I know. I, I've just looked on your account as well. You have played for a few different watches. Um, can you remember yeah, the watches yeah. you played for? Something from Tudor, and I think a watch from from Omega. Yep. So today you have won yourself a Seamaster's Omega worth five thousand pounds. How do you feel? Crazy. <laughs> 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 whoa, whoa, that's, that's crazy. Oh, oh man. <laughs> uh, excellent. Well, look, I can obviously I can hear your accent there. So where are you based? Uh, Germany, Germany. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Well, look, we're going to arrange to deliver your watch for you. So we will chat again later. But yeah, I'm glad I could bring you some good news. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we will be in touch. So well done. And uh, okay. we'll be in touch and we can make, make all the arrangements for you. Okay, cool. Great. All Sounds right. Great. No worries. Thanks. Look, have a lovely day. Speak soon. Yeah, you too. Take, bye care. Bye. Take bye. care. Bye. Bye, Jonas. So Jonas answered the phone. Yay! And he was overwhelmed. I think he was a little bit speechless that he won himself a £5,000 Omega Seamaster. So, which is great. So we've delivered, he's got his watch, and our January game is now live. So if you want to be like Jonas and you want me to call you and let you know you've won a luxury watch, then head over to Watch Lotto, play the game, and I could be calling you soon.